Hello everyone. Today we're going to be removing the 64-bit version of Zero Access, which includes the conserve.dll file. So as you can see, I've located it here in my start menu. Now I'm going to go ahead and launch Kaspersky's TDSS killer to find out which service uh, the Zero Access infection is using. Now I'm not going to use TDSS Killer as a removal tool. Uh, it's just a little easier to run this scan uh, than it is to search for it manually using other tools. So now I'm going to go ahead and open up a notepad so I can copy the name of the service into the notepad and get it into my clipboard. Alright, TDSS Killer has found one result and it looks like that's what we're looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and copy it here into my notepad. Okay, now I'm opening up the registry editor. And I'm going to make sure on the left hand pane to select computer because searches through the registry go from the top down. So now I'm going to go to find and I'm going to paste the service into my find box. All right, our first search hit. Uh, is going to be the net services value uh, of the SBC host registry key. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and locate our service in this list and then delete it. Alright, now I'm going to press F3 on my keyboard and that's going to continue our search through the registry for the rest of the service. In some cases you may only find one more result and in others you might find two. Okay, I found the service so I'm just going to go ahead and delete this entire key and then I'm going to press F3 one more time and I've located a second instance so I'm going to go ahead and delete that as well. Alright, now I'm finished searching through the registry so I found all of my results and deleted all of them. Okay, now I'm going to make sure to skip with TDSS Killer because we've already taken care of the service. And now we're just going to kind of collapse everything so we have a uh, default view of the registry again on our left pane. Okay, now I'm going to look in the select registry key here and I'm looking at this default value here. Notice that this is 3. This means that control set 3 is currently loaded. So I'm going to edit control set 1 because if I try to edit control set 3, the rootkit is going to modify my changes immediately after I make them. Okay, so now I'm in uh, control set 1, control, session manager, and subsystems. And we're looking at the data in the Windows value and notice that our second server DLL back has been modified and says conserve. The default value that Windows places is winserve. So I'm going to go ahead and change that. And I'm going to click OK. Alright, now I'm going to refresh the registry editor because I'm going to verify that the rootkit hasn't made any changes to my modifications. So it looks like I'm in luck. Uh, my modifications are still there. So now I'm going to go back to the select key and I'm going to modify our default value that we looked at originally to match my newly modified key which would happen to be control set 1. So I'm going to change the value from 3 to 1. All right, now we're finished editing the registry. 
all we need to do is locate conserve.dll and I usually like to open the file location here uh, to delete the DLL you don't have to if you don't want to okay I'm gonna go ahead and say yes I want to delete it and continue All right, looks like the file has been deleted. And now we're just going to go ahead and reboot the system. And you're all finished.